So we're starting this video uh, right away and before we do that, uh, go subscribe to my main channel. It's in the links in the description. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so I was actually not planning on making a script for this video because I might not sound as genuine. Uh, but I decided to make a, a script on it because like I might mess up on what my thoughts are I really are I thought I'd write a script because I might mess up on what I was trying to convey through what I've seen in the chapters 274 of Domestic Girlfriend. Okay, so as the time of recording of this video, there's only two more chapters left and a Domestic Girlfriend will end in June 10 and I just need to announce this Team Hina for the win, man. Team Hina. Team Hina. That's right. You hear me right. That, that's right. I'm announcing it. You weebs. But if you're caught up in the manga, uh, I'm sure you've known or uh, seen that Natsuo, I mean, uh, Hina has suffered so much because of Natsuo just to protect his, fu his future and without even Natsuo or Rui knowing anything about what Hina has been through because, you know, she's the type to uh, never... Uh, tell what she's actually uh, going through. This manga is a big, no, it's a massive roller coaster of emotions because there's so much drama involved. But that it's a, it's a realistic thing. It's realistic because it happens in real life. But it's a moment like it's hard to process it because like one dr one realistic drama after another, then another realistic drama. So. It's, it really hurts your heart because like it's too much drama but then again it's kind of realistic because it happens to in real life. So I might as well share my thoughts on reading the past chapters or specifically the chapter 274 and a little bit before that chapter. So let's get right into this video. The heartbreaking chapters I'm talking about are the past chapters where we see Hina dealing with everything without even other people knowing it. Like, there's only two people that knows what Hina has been through. Like, mind you, only two people. Like, first off is Kiria Sensei, which is the one who... He knows what happened on why Hina left the school. And the, the incident that happened that Hina was trying to protect Natsuo from being in a scandal after getting famous. And second is the Lamont manager, which is... Uh, like she titled, she Hina tells about her uh, like experiences to the manager, but there's only two people that knows what she's always been through. So this is why this is why Team Hina man, Team Hina for the win. And as I said, there's only like two people who knows how much she's been through, how much suffering she's been through. And then the next panel we see is Hina in the floor laying down because she just got bumped into a truck. Uh, I am I am holding such a heavy grudge against Truck Kun because you've sent many people dying. Hopefully you don't do that to him as well. In all seriousness, like she's been through much and then we see her on the she's always she's almost dying, I mean. Like what uh, what author sensei, what are you doing? For the chapter two hundred and seventy four, uh we have chapter and 273 where Rui just tells Natsuo, no, no, we're not getting married, fam. Which just shows that this show, that rhyme, uh, this shows that the show can actually go anywhere and there's always a room for a plot twist. There's, that's what the author has told me about this story, like there's always plot twist. Because at the beginning of the story, we thought Rui has no chance because it's always Hina. It's most especially when Hina reciprocated Natsuo's feelings. And then the next thing we we realize is that it's now not, not, not so in Ruby and then we thought he has no chance because they're exes and most especially not so already has Ruby but then again we got Hina back into the the starting line and then we now know that they're not getting married like like we already know that not so chose Ruby over Hina but they also showed that no fam there's there's more room for a harem room. The almost end of the story, we got hit by Nafam. We are not so in Ruby ship in this main story. And then we got hit by another wait 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 wait. He is dying. Hmm. We got hit by another wait wait. What? what? Did you hear that? Ruby's not gonna marry Natsuo? Then who the crap won? 
And then we see like a five year time skip which shows Haruka, which is uh, Natsuo and Rui's uh, daughter. <laughs> and when I was reading the part where they showed, uh, uh, where like in chapter 274, where Hina, I mean, uh, Haruka and Natsuo is going back home, I thought, I, I thought for sure that Hina was awake already, but then we got hit by that, nah, -uh, she's still in a vegetative state. You wait. But in all seriousness, I actually clear just a little bit clear I, just just a little. But in like in the previous chapters, they've been they've been like showing that Hina still has a chance. But then like in her vegetative state, it's like it's just a question to all Hina fans like me that like how is she gonna win? If you are hinting that in other chapters, the past chapters, that she still has a chance because. I mean, why even like focus on a story about Tina if it's all about Rui and Natsu already? So, it's just a big, how is Hina gonna win? Now remember, I said Hina, Hina is in a vegetative state. So, it's just a big question in the series, not just the Hina lovers out there. But it's a question that nobody can answer. In just two chapters left in this series. How can there possibly be a nice happy ending for both of our characters? Now we see in the, the chapter we already saw that Momo got married and Al is going to college and uh, Miu was it? That she's actually an editor now and uh, they also show that uh, Kajita is a head chef and Rui is gonna work already and stuff and we also see Natsuo where he achieved two to three novels or books per year and then his work is also is also uh, getting like adaptations so we already know that okay everybody's got a happy ending now they've already been successful they have achieved their dreams but what about Hina? but fear not uh, Sasaga K sensei is the master of all plot twists and fortunately she is the author of this series so fear not on a serious note the last panel of the last chapter which is they they show that there's a marriage form that Ruby was giving like not so so I was wondering who was it for and what was it for so like Hina like already they've been hinting that Ruby is kind of like okay about like not so and Hina kind of things they've been hinting that in just one chapter and it's kind of awkward like okay five years now Hina's still not waking up she's about to die let's get married fam to conclude everything for this video I'm just gonna give you guys my take which is um I think Rui is uh, gonna give that marriage form for Hina and Natsuo and Natsuo will marry Hina and Hina will wake up and then Natsuo still becomes the father for Haruka and Hina and Ruby will become the mother for Haruka, which is like happy ending. Side note: I also cried when Nasu uh, like uh, cried because uh, when they were cutting her hair, she he was reminded of how Hina looked like when they first met. Man, that, that hurts. That hurts. Also, I made a lot of research about vegetative state and coma. Uh, just hopefully that the writer will follow the actual like real things. So in vegetative state, you can you're still awake. Unlike in coma, you're not, and you can still hear things in some cases, which is probably the explanation for why Hina smiles whenever Natsu takes care of her. But there's also been cases where when you're in a vegetative state, you can smile, frown, and cry, or even like hold things like impulse in impulse. So that might be the explanation for why she's actually smiling. Also, also big, big point here, big point. They say people die in a vegetative state in six months. Wait, 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 wait what, what was that? Hina's still alive after five years? Wait, 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 wait what, what was that? After five years, 3% of the people recover the ability to communicate and understand. Few can live independently. <gasps> Wait, 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 how long did the time skip happen? <gasps> I mean, Hina isn't in the coma, so things can still like, you know, turn 360 degrees, oh my god.
like you know those things can happen like for example in a race where not uh, Satoru was in a coma for like 15 years and I'm still salty about the fact that she didn't wait for Satoru. Serious note though, if we're gonna take things like realistically, maybe Otter san is gonna, I mean, Otter kun will uh, wake up Hina and like we're gonna see her in a wheelchair and it's a happy ending. Rui and not so Marys and stuff and like she she's in a wheelchair because we can't afford her to. Have, we can't afford to have another time skip where there's like a focus on Hina getting better because like if there's another time skip then Hina is gonna be old because she's in the in a, around uh, in the time skip she's like 31 or 32 years old so like it's it, we really can't afford another time skip just to focus on her on getting better but we're gonna look on the kind of fictitious side like in a race where uh, Satoru was able to recover and function normally even after 15 years of coma so maybe things will turn that way and hopefully uh, Hina marries Natsuo again this is just my take because this uh, manga is really good and I have no other words to use to praise it because it's really just good so yeah that's all it for the video stay safe and uh, put on the bell notification so you get updated when I get another a video, probably a video about the next chapter of Domestic Girlfriend. So yeah, stay safe during this pandemic. Matane. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity.